What's up everyone, my name is Garrett and today I'm going to tell you my journey to get into CCNA and also give you guys some tips and tricks on how you guys can pass. Now before we begin, I would like to give a little bit of a background of myself. I was working as a help desk technician while I was studying. I got my CCNA back in April and four months after getting the certification, I was able to land a job as a network administrator. Now prior to studying, to taking the exam, I did actually fail it the first time. So one big reason for me failing is because I think that I didn't utilize the available resources and didn't dedicate enough time. So hopefully this video will help you guys learn from my mistakes. So let me go ahead and tell you guys my experience on taking the exam. So on top of working my help desk job, this took me about six months for me to study and then go and take the test. Whatever I got to the testing center, they gave me a blank sheet of paper. So that way I was able to actually write some notes to help me take the test. Um, there was one point where I was in the middle of a lab about like midway through the exam and uh, time was running out and long story short I was able to actually answer all of the questions and then I actually got a confirmation message saying that I passed and then I had a, a sigh of relief whatever I got that so before I present you guys my tips I do want to mention one important thing so in the middle of this year Cisco was actually planning on possibly making some changes to the CCNA. However, they have actually confirmed that they are not making any changes to the exam. So if you are watching this video in 2023 and next year of 2024, then you should still be good. The second thing I want to mention is that I cannot go into details about the types of questions asked on the exam. So hopefully my tips will help you guys get a good understanding on what exactly to study and how to prepare so that you guys are ready to take the exam. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I would recommend is to download the exam guide and create a schedule around it. This will help you stay organized throughout your time of studying. And as you're going through the topics, go ahead and cross out the topics that you have already learned. I think this will be a good way of managing your time and see how far you are with completing all of the topics. The second thing I recommend is to watch YouTube videos regarding the topic that you are studying on. Now, whenever it comes to the videos, there's a variety of YouTube channels out there that you guys can find. So I'm going to go ahead and list all of the YouTube channels that I found really helpful that helped me study for the exam. And all of these channels will be listed in the description below. You guys ready? Jeremy's IT Lab, Keith Barker, David Bomble, Network Chuck, Network Kings, Network Bruh, Network Direction, Cert Bros, and Paul Browning. All of these YouTube channels also have some labs, so I also recommend doing them as well. And there's also an audiobook and a podcast that I have found by Paul Browning that I was able to listen to while I was driving to work. So go ahead and look into all of these YouTube channels and just look into see what types of topics they have and go ahead and watch those while you're studying. The third thing that I recommend is to take notes while you're watching the videos, whether it's handwritten or on the computer. I think this will help you better memorize the material and this will also help you outside of studying for your exam. Because there's actually been times when I'm at work and I actually go back to my notes just to help me memorize stuff or to try to troubleshoot a problem. So I definitely think that taking notes will help you during and after you take your exam. The fourth thing that I recommend is to use flashcards in between watching the YouTube videos. So if you go into the description below, I'm going to have two links. One is going to be for Jeremy's IT Labs on key flashcards. And then the other one is going to be my own custom set of flashcards that I made on Quizlet. The difference between mine and Jeremy's flashcards is that Jeremy's on key flashcards will have a set for every single topic where mine covers all of the topics in one set. I recommend looking at the on-key flashcards as you're studying for a specific topic and then use my flashcards on your free time and when you're getting closer to taking the exam. I do also want to add that I try my best to stay up to date with my own flashcards, but if you guys do see any mistakes or any recommendations that you guys want me to change on my end, feel free to put them in the comments below. Now the last thing that I recommend and that I cannot stress enough is to do some labs. 
Now, you can find some free ones using Packet Tracer, which is no problem. However, I did find that using Boson NetSim was able to actually help me get a better understanding and really test my knowledge on the topics. I'm gonna go ahead and put their website in the description below. And I also recommend trying to find some coupons to see if you can get a discount if you do consider buying it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the tips that I provided and put them all together so that way you guys can get a bigger picture on how you guys should study. So you're gonna first pick an exam topic. You're gonna then look at the YouTube channels and look for particular videos based off of that certain topic you're studying. As you're watching the videos, you're gonna take notes. And in between the videos, you're gonna then use the flashcards. And then once you get a good understanding of the material, then you can go ahead and do the practice labs. Now, it's perfectly fine if you go and watch the videos again, but I think if you take good notes, then you should probably reference your notes first before going to the videos. So even though I can't disclose the types of questions that are going to be asked on the exam, there are some topics that I would highly recommend that you look into. The first one is going to be all of your layer two, especially your VLANs. You're going to need to know how it works and how to configure it. The next one that I think that you should really master is subnetting. The next one is going to be your layer three routing. You're going to need to know how a packet travels and how to read a routing table. And the final one that I think you should look into is OSPF. You're gonna to need to know how it works and how to configure it. So as we're reaching near the end of this video, there are a couple of key points that I would like for you guys to keep in mind. The first important thing is to make sure you refresh on the topics that you have already learned. I think people can easily forget all of the material that they have learned if they're focused on one subject and they go back and then they realize that they kind of miss some important steps. So Definitely use the flashcards that I've created and also look at your notes to help you refresh your memory. And the final thing that I recommend is to create your own cheat sheets. Now, depending on your testing center, they could give you a blank piece of paper in which you could use during your exam, which is what they did with me. Now, I would do this whatever you are closer to taking your exam, but what I did was go through all of my notes and then put all of the most important details from every single topic into one sheet of paper and I would copy it about two or three times to help me remember it. Now, whatever you go to the testing center and if they do give you that blank sheet of paper, you will already have that memorized in your head and you can just quickly write it down and you could use during your exam. Hopefully my tips will help you guys get your CCNA. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to hit the like or subscribe and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Good luck.